Hello, this is Sachin Shaw coming to you live from Greenville, South Carolina. What I have behind me is a gorgeous blue machine. It's a 2007 Prevo Bus H345 VIP converted by Featherlight Von Terry. 45 foot, beautiful bus. Look at this. It is, we just had it buffed and I tell you what, the skin is like smooth as a baby's butt. It's a beautiful bus. So being a 2007, about 170,000 miles, it's been driven. So, you know, it's not perfect. It's not a $3 million new Prevo bus. And you're going to get it at a heck of a bargain. So let's start talking from a front and we'll go around it as we show you good, bad, and ugly stuff, as I always say in my uh, video. Let's see. This windshield is going to be replaced. Cracked windshield will take care of that. 3M film looks pretty much pretty good. You know, a few road rock chips. Got a little stress mark up here on the front. You know, I just like to point little stuff out. And, you know, if I miss it, I'm sorry. You get that for free. Absolutely free. You're not expecting a 2023. This Prevo bus, we just came back from a West Palm Beach show. And this, some of these coaches, Liberties, are going over $3 million now. These are, uh, Van Terry's are like $2.5, $2.6 million. God, it's so nice. Look at this big thing right here. That is the Eaton Vorad Collision Avoidance System. What it does, if you're doing 75 miles an hour on an interstate and someone gets in front of you, pass you, and start slowing down at 60 miles an hour, it'll just adjust its speed. I think nowadays they use the word called adaptive cruise control. Yes, same thing. Uh, just a little scratch here, I think. This is your all chassis components on this uh, coach. Let's see. It is a 2007. However, I think it was manufactured back in 05, and that's typical of it, okay? Just wanted to let you know, this is a pre-DAF. It's a 2007 when it rolled out of a feather light when it was converted. It's a little ding, yeah, hey. There we go. Yep, yep. And uh, we've got a nice 365 uh, tires, the uh, 70, 22 and a half. Great tires, and uh, they're just a couple of years old. No worries there. Lots of trades. Eaton Vorad also has a side uh, sensor, so when someone gets close to you, it will beep inside. That's a nice, uh, nice upgrade. All right, over here we've got a slide out tray. It's got lots of uh, sunscreen, Genturi muffler system. We've got parts manual, maintenance manual, and we've got a whole bunch of paperwork here. See right here? Organized in alphabetical order. And Van Terry does all their resettable fuse are right there. Pretty easy. If something don't work, you can come, you know, you can check it yourself and fix it. I like this side opening doors. Beautiful two slides. There are two awnings, electric awnings. We'll work them and show you that too. Huge pass through storage. What we have down is the slide out control, uh, manual control. It's, it goes back up. Let's see, I didn't shut it all the way. Let's see. Uh, this coach has an upgrade for roof hairs, kind of like Millenniums and Marathon coaches do. They took out the cruise air, which are really problematic on older coaches. Uh, if those people had Prevo bus, they would know. We'll show you inside when you come inside. Uh, some of these doors got little cracks, and this door crack is going all the way down. And I'll tell you why that happens. Uh, let me show you, speaking of that, this door has just one little crack here, but not on the bottom, okay? Let me tell you what, what happens. People slam them. This, this door opens up, right? Nice and easy. Hey, we got four nice chairs. It probably said Van Terry on it, yep. Let's see, I'm open up the wrong way. <laughs> nice little patio chairs. Very comfy. Yes. <laughs> I don't think I want to work now. 
I'm going to just stay here and enjoy the sunshine. Oh, got to go work. All right. So what happens, those cracks, what people do, let me go ahead and they slam it. You got to be easy on this thing. Like, like this. I'm going to shut it. Easy. Easy does it. And then you just push it in. See, I got snap on both sides. People slam them. That's what they come from. Okay. Not a big deal. Just wanted to point out. Oh, yeah. Hey, scratch and find it. I think it's just a little, little imperfection. Uh, other than that, I mean, this black and what color would you call it? A light blue, 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 light blue, gray. Just gorgeous paint skin. Man, I love it. All right. Let's see over here. This door would open up sideways and that's why it doesn't have that long crack. Okay. So this is your hydro hot or aqua hot heating. Uh, your power cord comes down here. Let me show you how that happens. This is out. So right here, you just go in. That's in, and you shut that. When you want to get it out, you just get it out from that hole. Okay, you get the you get the pictures. You got also water right here. Let's see. You can just pull this out, and it goes back in. All right. Outside shower, you can, I mean, it, this is where you let water in and all that, water pump off and on and all that stuff. Um, electric sewer dump. And it has a cutoff switch there, right? Yeah, so like when you plug the power up, you turn it off. When you plug it in, you turn it on. That's what you do. All right. Uh, Bay Aqua Hot Black Heating. Yep, right there, electric flush. I haven't found a date code on them, but let me see the date codes. 07 of 19. Yeah, I knew they were like two, three, two, a couple of years old. So 19, that doesn't mean they were installed then. They were probably installed last year or so. Got knee deep trade. Lots of trade on it. Yep, 26 of 19. Yeah, no worries on tires. Okay, I just want to tell you 365, 70, 22 and a half. And these are 315 the the drive at, drive now look this is pretty normal i've seen them on paint little little, little look like a little orange peel i've seen it in a lot of coaches i don't know why but it's just there okay um uh, overall look at this oh my god sun came out can you walk back and look at god oh, it's beautiful oh speaking of a little ding on that uh, front living room slide the metal shroud on outside awning got a little ding there just point the stuff out that's the purpose of our video, so we don't waste your time and ours. You know, you're looking for something brand new. You're going to see our price. It's going to be very aggressive price. So uh, just hold on to those lowball offers, please. Don't waste your time. Over here, little crack. See right there? Okay. Another crack on this. But price is going to be accordingly. Yeah, it's a side big radiator. I mean, this is a... Probably uh, uh, added. Let me open the engine compartment here. Look at the back. Beautiful, beautiful paint job. Uh, just see a little scratch here. But let me open the back hatch. So when you open these things up, you have a nice strut. They will hold up. But look, there's a little red liver. You open it up, and it kind of would... So you won't chop your head off. <laughs> all right. Got all new t all new belts. By the way, it was owned by an owner has a couple of race teams. So they stayed on top of the maintenance like crazy. So it is very well maintained mechanically. Um, it is the 14 liter motor. Yep. 14.0 Detroit Series 60. The one and only legendary code motor man you can't kill this motor they're a million miles engine all right we're going to leave that open and keep going through here that's your big air filter uh, side access there are extra belts there that's another good sign of a uh, the owner knows how to take care of this stuff when the belt breaks they don't tell you when they're going to break you got to be prepared all right a little scratch here i think i saw it right here somewhere right yep 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 so, you know, but overall, man, this coach is in beautiful shape. There's a key to open up. That's where your chassis battery is. Got little silicone. 
uh, not the prettiest silicone I've seen, but hey, uh, just pointing these things out, okay? Those for those people that are really, really nitpickers, you know, sometimes I nitpick my coaches, but you know, just want to save you time. And if that, if it's not you, then hey, just, uh, just trying to show you everything. Another little scratch here. Now I have a body shop guy, okay? Could take care of that. Could take care of other flaws. It may cost a few hundred bucks, maybe a couple of thousand at the most. Here's a little clear coat's coming off on just about a size of a two quarters, okay? Uh, just seeing few stuff and I'm just pointing it out, okay? Overall, like I said, we we'll buff this coach. It looks beautiful. It's got 170,000 miles. It's been on the road. This door's got little another little crack. Let's see what's up here. Oh, we got a nice, man, we got a nice next grill. It is on, uh, let's see. It'll come out there. Yes, sir. Nice grill. All right. Got a little stove on the side. It's been used, huh? It's, it just goes in and then... There you go. It just stays in. This one I need to. I was going back to it. It's got a should be water pump and all. Indeed. Yep. You got big water pump here. Your water manifold. So you can, if you have a water leak, you develop somewhere. You could just turn off that section of it. You got a little heating out here for winter time. This thing shut. That's your diesel hole. That's where you put your fuel. All right, let's see. Boat side. Uh, buses have boat side. These are your big two inverters. I think they're like 4,000 watts each or. Yep, 4,000 watts each. Zentrax inverter. And here's your generator. Power tech generator. We're going to have this thing serviced before you pick it up. And that's something we're going to do. There we go. It's shut. A little rag to check oil and stuff. So all these doors got slight little crack mm -hmm. in the middle right there. And some of them come from this a lights that heat up, okay? This door don't have it. And this door don't have it. Well, this one's got such a hair micro crack, I couldn't even see it. I, again, I am nitpicking it so you don't have to. That's the, uh, man, I've seen people put a Harley Davidson or a, a Honda or whatever motorcycle. Mini golf cart. Or mini golf cart that we've seen at the show. Yeah, you could put that in. It's pretty, you probably have to take the handle. Yes, awning. Hey, let me, let me show you the awning. I'm going to open up the front one. If my forward, let's see. There we go. The back one, we're gonna check it out. It has a something tied and maybe arm or something. We can service that, but right now we can't open the back one. It opens up, and then if you see the back one opens up one side because there is a wire tie. Oh, I'm gonna close back up. But this big patio awning opens up really nice. Back one needs some kind of service, something like that. Well, we'll check that out too. Let's see what's in this compartment. All right, we got a bunch of fresh water hose, sewer hose, little air stuff. Man, I feel the got heat going on here. Yeah, it's a slide out tray, yep. Oh, I see what's going on is the uh, fiber optic computer is down here and I see it. A little gizmo, it's got a fiber optic light. A little scratch right here. What is this right here? Eaton Vorad Collision Avoidance System. 
Yeah, so if someone gets really close or you getting close to a wall or something, it'll beep inside. Beep, 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 beep. It, it'll just like like it's 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 uh, the name of it. It's called collision avoidance system. Uh, so before you hit something, it gives you warning. As you can see, the roof of this Venteri, four upgraded roof air conditioners, metal roof, no worries up on top of here. Satellite dish up here. It's unlike regular motorhomes. Prevo buses are metal roof, so no, just a solid structure. Ah, oh, man, from far away, it's beautiful. I, I feel like I nitpick a lot of little stuff here and there, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. It's 07. It's, what, 13 plus 3, 16 years old. Yes. I look at the front cap. My God, it's gorgeous, Coach. So we got a we got a couple about two three Prevo bus right now, but it's sitting here and telling this fifth wheels and and a little motorhomes. Hey, I'm the king. That is the king right here. <laughs> uh, let's go inside and show you how it looks inside. Oh, someone's here. Let me get the door. Come on in. And this beautiful bus. So we're going to start right here. Look at the living room. Got a nice office desk there with the file cabinets and drawers. Look at all these indirect accent lightings just gorgeous and we have a fiber optic lights just a lots of lights nice recliner here and look behind you you have a big huge samsung curved tur curved television beautiful it's a smart tv by the way so uh in the chairs. It's very comfy. This thing reminds me of a, a Clint Black, Black, Clint Black's bus. Yeah, I love the lights. Yeah, even even the wood side arms. Yeah, it's got a little wear. Yeah, it's a 2007. Anyhow, you cut slice it. Anyhow, 16 years old motorhome. But look at look at the lights, the accent lights. So they call indirect lights. They're everywhere. Gorgeous. So one big slide is out. Look at the black and white tile with a gold grout in between. It's like a metal grout. Uh, back in the days, Featherlight did a really good job. Uh, over here, this when you want to travel, you could get the table back in and get the slide in. So just want to demonstrate how that works. So that's all the way in. And then even the the sofa goes in. See that? So when it comes out, you got a more space to sit and eat. I just demonstrated if I was gonna get it in. You can still sit down to eat two person easily, but it comes out and uh, makes a better U shaped booth dinette. Kitchen consists of GE profile convection oven. And look at here. Look at the shut. And you can't see it no more. Dual sink here. Lots of lots of uh, storage everywhere. We've got just a little drop down. The cabinets are clean. Very clean. By the way, all the fabric is in clean shape. This is also has a fiber optic lights in here. You can see it at night in this nice glass piece, back, kind of backsplash. Got a two burner electric stove. Lots of little nukes and stuff for our storage. Oh, there we go. We've got a nice refrigerator with the same paneling that matches. It's Amana or Amana. Household refrigerator, yep, indeed. 
It looks like nobody hardly touched any of these. Nope. It's in great shape. Nice little decoration up here. A little bit of a fabric has a little chewed out here from slide coming in and out. I like to point out, point that out. But I don't know if there's indirect light or the fiber optics. All right, come on in the center part of the door. I think this uh, galley door, we'll have it checked out right now. Uh, we're selling for someone, and I think we're going to just sell it as is. But if you'd like to fix some of the stuff, we have a guy that can spend a few thousand dollars and fix a lot of stuff, which is not necessarily would have to be working. Yes, it does. Nice pantry. Look at how clean it is inside. Lock in a place. Yeah, so this pocket door, I don't know what's going on. We can look at it. Uh, but this pocket door works, however. Let's see. Uh, stateroom. Even just nice air pocket door just comes in and out. You got to have accessory. Um, what do you call it? your accessory uh, compressor has got to be working. So that gives complete privacy in the bedroom. Oh, stateroom. There you go. I was hitting the wrong button. So that's for the bedroom. Before we go in the bedroom, let me show you our private toilet area. Lots of room, as you can see. Good bit of space. Medicine cabinet up on top. Is that a cabinet behind the toilet, too? Should be, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Small. Probably put some toilet paper. Coat hanger. Across from the toilet, you have a nice... Check this out. It's very, very nice. You may have to come through here. Black tile. Nice shower. Let me go and demonstrate it inside. It looks really nice. And very spacious. You got a, oh, what do you call the fiber optic lights are going in here. Got a little, little damage on this tile right here. Okay. Just want to point out we have a fan up on top. I love the fact that it has a fan, shower fan. So your steam can kind of go out. There's a big cubby there for sh shampoo and a soap. Oops. We've got a little safe here. Let me go get a my remote to turn a TV volume down. So we've got another Samsung Smart big TV in a stateroom or bedroom, if you would call it. And you got another sink. Medicine cabinet. Well, I like that Your rear slide out switch is hidden in here in this medicine cabinet. Yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? And lots of cabinets underneath. Deep drawers. Speaking of storage, we've got some storage here. What they call hamper. His and her. I like the liner. You can take the liner out. And wash it, yep. And these are privacy shades in the back. Push of a button. Okay, so let's talk about this queen bed. It does have a platform for a king size bed. Previous owner decided to keep queen bed because he wanted a little more walking room uh, when the slide was closed. So let me show you. You see the platform comes out. It's got a little uh, so subwoofer. A yeah, you just put a king size mattress and you got it. Look at the backside, really nice, luxurious headboard. Some storage up on top. Both sides, you got nice nightstands. Is there oh, storage it, under the bed? Uh, usually they have a There's lift. A There's a drawer. Okay, there we go. Right oh, pretty deep drawer, wow. So that answers the question. We have a nice storage under there, and there's some coat closet there, and um, that's just an access for slide out. It even has the old school phone with a remote and a TV screen. I don't know if it works or not. All right, so let me tell you, this cruise air has been deleted in this coach, okay? So let's wait. 
weight reduction, kind of like a race car. Actually, this was owned by a racing car team. Uh, no more cruise airs. We have a roof airs. Simple. Guess what? Boom. It also have heat pump. Three uh, heat pumps. We've got one, two, three, four, four roof mounted air conditioning. And guess what? They're practical. They work. It keeps this motorhome cool. A lot of later uh, other converters like Millennium, they all use roof air. So it has a roof airs. Hey, nice ceiling fan up here. Uh, I love this indirect lighting is what they call it. Look, now watch. I'll, I'll turn it down, up and down. Check it out. Stateroom. Let's see. You see they go down, up and down? Yeah, on and off, you mean? Well, it's got a, it's got a dimmer. Yeah. It's got a dimmer back here. <laughs> Lots of little buttons. So over here, we've got a two big 4,000 watts inverter that I told you. That's your remote control here. Uh, your tank monitoring system. Aqua hot heating system off and on. Once again, this cruise air has been deleted. Uh, been taken out from a bottom too. So you got more, more. Uh, oh, that's the light back there. And uh, hey, this works. So we're just checking out all this uh, pocket doors. Motorhome's not been running. My accessory pump is not on. So it, it, they are air pocket doors. Let's see. Scotty beamed me. That's what I feel like. Star Wars. Come on back here. You got a walk-in closet, man. Look at this. You can put all kinds of uh, dress clothes or whatever you want to hang up here. You still have a little... Well, it's got the... Those are the pieces. It's some that. of the pieces that go somewhere. Yeah, it, it'll go with it if you want to... Hey, listen. Just about any motorhomes, you can do a lot of upgrades. Yep, lots of storage. I guess you would call this a dresser. Chester door. And over here is some uh, Sony 3 uh, DVD uh, direct dish stuff. And we have a full washer and dryer. Malber. Malber. And got a little more storage up here, too. It doesn't look like these shelves have been used. No, they're in excellent shape. Yeah. And there's more doors here and there. On each side. Nice carpeting. I mean, we have a concrete lot, so it didn't take shoes off. They're very clean. You know, We could probably put plastics down here. Um, but it's not stained or anything. St no stains. It's in excellent shape. The carpet is. So this would conclude our inside video of this 2007 Featherlight Venteri H345. Man, I love these lights. Um, so it's got a lot of good stuff. The generator, by the way, runs strong. I ran it today for five, six hours. It's got a lot of good stuff in it. it it's camp ready. Uh, give us a call. We're going to get on the road. I'll go over a cockpit area, but i like to give a number in the middle. 864-404-0054 is my cell phone number mine is 864-376-5600 so give us a call we prefer text communication but i'll tell you what we'll we'll go over the cockpit area and go get on the road test drive them now i personally drove it from florida to south carolina it runs excellent you got um turn signal or left signal is the the input is not there but the right signal works backup monitor is an excellent big screen there it's got a bluetooth radio but we'll walk over that in just a second Does this turn into Yes, it does. So let me show you that. Take this couple of cushions off here. And there's a button on the bottom. That's a jackknife. Jackknife, yep. And I'll tell you what, I am six feet, but you can have a taller person can sleep in here easily. I'm a much taller if you do have your shoes on. Okay, yep, yep, yep. So pretty nice. Uh, I'm glad you brought that up. So you just go and push the button back. And got some drawers. By the way, some more books and records here, but you know, the most of them are outside. You saw that. Let's see, that should be drawer two. Yep, it is. So what I'll do, I'll turn these lights off too. And a TV off. If you want me to, let's see. 
So those are the fiber optic lights. TV behind me? I can turn TV off. Yeah, this is a party bus. <laughs> Does it change colors? Uh, I have not seen it, but there should be a feature it will change the colors. Oh, that's so cool. It doesn't look like any of the lights are out. Nope. And it's all the way. It goes all the way into the. Last job. Mm -hmm. It goes all the way into the master walk-in closet. All right, let's go over the uh, cockpit area. All right, so let's start the cockpit area of this 2007 Venturi. We have, uh, let's see, you see this, it's called total vision camera. So you can go turn right, left, right. That's about closer, away. And that's a huge backup monitor. So if you're towing a vehicle, you get it down all the way to the bumper. Or if you want to look, look it away, or you can go right. You can go left. It's it's amazing. All right, uh, it has a nice Bluetooth radio, and I'm talking about. I have my Bluetooth hooked up, and you know you can just. It's got a really nice sound system. Hey, I drove this coach from uh, Florida to here. We got an air conditioning system, uh, and heating system right here for driver and a passenger side. Okay. Uh, Rest of stuff is you got a camera, trailer cam, uh, coach camera select. I've got left signal, right signal. They all work. Uh, trailer cam, you can select trailer or coach cam. You got a lock unlock button here. Um, it does even have a Eaton Vorad system. You can uh, adjust your sensitivity. It's got a, a light here and over there. So when you're getting close to a pole or a tree or something or a car or any object it'll let you know that's your collision avoidance system let me turn this thing down or turn it off so it can give a more power i mean all right this is your uh exhaust brake or engine uh, what do you call it? transmission retarder i mean you got like one two three four five six if it's six one two three four five six uh stages of brakes if you've never experienced that some of the uh, most all prevo buses have them some for travel has them. All right, so we got 171,000 miles, 967, almost 172. You got your accessory air, uh, rear and front air gauges right here, fuel gauge, battery voltage, 24 volt. You got your uh, oil pressure gauge here, turbo boost, and a temperature, water temperature gauge. All right, let's see, uh, lots of little details I can go through. Air horn. And you got an electric horn. All right. We got a heated headlight. Uh, this is like your toll light that you know you want to see something quickly. That's your fast idle. I'll turn a fast idle off here right now. Um, let's see. Uh, docking, cornering. You can turn those light on, low docking lights. Uh, six speed Allison 4000, the big boy transmission. Over here, we have a toll window, goes up and down. You got auto level and you got also manual level. You can turn it with that. You hear the beeping because I've got it on a level. You can do that. Both side auto mirrors or what do you call the power mirrors, your brakes and your tag axle dump all the way back there. Okay. So here we got a little cubby. Put your money or wallet or whatever. Got a cup holder. All right. Navigation. It, uh, it's, it's, you know, uh, Everything is here. Now, this TV, I've never got to come on. You got a big curved TV on top. I think uh, I've covered everything. We got to have a little cell phone charger here. You know, I got to have that. Another cup holder. And then over here, I've got a breaker, breaker. I've got a CB radio on this side. Okay. 
I think uh, without further ado, let's hit the road. You're going to love this bus. All right, let's go. All right, so I got a cruise engaged at 30 miles an hour. I just left the traffic light. Let's get on a, get on a little fast. 40, not 50. Uh, I'm, I'm doing it with my button right here. So cruise works really nice. You got to have a cruise control. All right. Cruising down the highway around 55 miles an hour. Man, don't try this at home. Is your air brake on? Oh, yeah. You mean exhaust brake? It's all the way down, yeah? Oh, it, it just it just hammers it down when I stop. You got to have engine brakes on. It's got a retarder. You got to have that retarder button on, and then you can... So you got a master control there, and then you can uh, use the stages you want. So, hey, this thing is a beautiful driving machine. Don't let 171,000 miles scare you. We had a 548,000 miles Clint Black bus. As long as this bus is maintained, as you see them on the road, Greyhound and tour buses and college football uh, sports buses, I mean, these are made to be driven um just just the phenomenal the way you know they they their their longevity is much longer than a regular motorhomes okay i mean any diesel motorhomes they can go half a million miles this can go million miles my number is 864-404-0054 or mine 864-376-5600 please subscribe to our youtube channel and uh hit that uh, what do you call the bell button so you know when we put next video up we really appreciate the, the one they are already subscribers uh, we're a small family dealership in greenville south carolina those people are far away from here west coast if they don't know where greenville is we're right in between atlanta georgia and charlotte north carolina it's uh no more small town i moved here 35 years ago but anyway hey thank you for watching our videos we do take trades we help you to get financing done all of that above. So uh, give us a call. Uh, text us is the best way to get a hold of us. God bless you. Have a great day.